Hi there, I'm Simon Barnett and a very proud dad of four beautiful girls. In the next 90 seconds, let me explain to you what the referendum on the anti-smacking law is all about. In 2007, the politicians ignored the overwhelming voice of New Zealanders and introduced the anti-smacking law. Now let me make it quite clear, I oppose child abuse in all its forms. New Zealand has an unacceptable rate of child abuses and cases like little near glassy absolutely break my heart. But this law treats a smack on the bottom from a loving parent with child abuse of the very worst kind and has put good parents raising law-abiding and responsible kids in the same category as rotten, abusive, nasty parents. Kiwi parents know the difference between a light smack and child abuse. And you know what? We should be given credit for this. Because of my opposition to the anti-smacking law, I'm labelled, and I hate it, as a parent who's violent, who bashes and assaults kids, and nothing is further from the truth. I find that highly offensive, and I really hope you do too. You see, while good families are being thrown under suspicion and even investigated, child abuse has continued at the same rate. The underlying issues identified by UNICEF and SIF, including drug and alcohol abuse, family breakdown and dysfunction, poverty and stress, continue to be ignored. Yet ironically, Green MP Sue Bradford admitted that this law was never intended to solve the problem of child abuse. Well, I don't know about you, but I want child abuse solved. We all do. New Zealanders are crying out for resources and laws to tackle the real causes without threatening good parents with investigation and interference from already overworked police and SIF social workers. When you receive your voting forms in the mail, please join me and vote no. Let's acknowledge and value the role of good parents in this country and let's demand that the real causes of child abuse are sorted out in New Zealand.